Hello, I am Margie Davey. I'm a senior at Duchenne Academy, and this is I Could Write. I could tell you my story, spin out the drawl of tales that follow me, nipping at my feet. I could spill the world and watch you drown in my blood. Every day is a story, and a teenager has 6,000. I will start simply. Most babies smile at five weeks, and I smiled at just two. And I, at 13, I decided I was too old to keep the middle school memories. I didn't exist until I was past puberty and shameless. It was easier to forget than to burn sticks and stones into the wedges of my spine and try to stand up tall when I was 14 and I stopped flinching at swear words. I thought I fell in love for the first time and cried a summer away when I couldn't keep the illusion anymore. For 15, I figured it all out. My brother splayed his blood alcohol level on the street, came home with a ticket and a story to tell. The next six months, I was invisible, and he was everywhere. 16, I found a home in the arms of a friend who knew what it was like to only see phantoms of herself in the mirror. I lost her to a boy who'd gotten tired of beating upon my brain and turned to take hers instead. She didn't flinch when I asked her to stay. I didn't flinch when she left. I am 17, and none of these stories really matter to me anymore. I could cut upon the wounds, peel away the skin, and show you what it is like to be alive, to feel pain, but what's the use in these words if they are only ever tormenting? I can hold the past, the present, the hazy future inside my veins, wait for a mortician to harvest my organs, find stories stuffed up and hoarded in my body, but I cannot let people ache with mine any longer. There is a world brimming with words, sentences dripping down faces and flushed down toilets downstream, away from anyone who can take them and turn them around, turn a frown upside down, turn wine into water again. But this world, with these happy-go, unlucky people, they try again. They open their mouths and keep pulling words out of their throats, magicians who never cease to amaze. They bottle their tears and drink them back on lazy Sundays, dangle their feet in the sun and dare the atmosphere to burn them, burn them again, bleed again. Look around you. I am a sufferer, diagnosed with a terminal life, but I am one of billions. We are all smiling, we are all bleeding too early or too late. We all have stories. Some choose to, our pains are thumbprints in a collage of world history, and some people choose to tell theirs, and some don't. But our hearts are no larger or smaller because of it. Our existence matters. Whether we had 6,000 or 600 stories, we were here. We were, we were, we were. And we will beat back against the shore until the world isn't a never-ending tale anymore.